Hey everyone, this is going to be the last of the unboxing videos related to the upgrades on my 2009 Harley Davidson Ultra Classic, all sponsored by DinoJet. This is the Harley Davidson oil cooler that's going to be a really important part of this upgrade. It doesn't produce any more horsepower, but by making sure the oil temperatures are kept under control, it's going to help to keep the engine cool and keep from having problems due to too hot or uh, too hot of oil. Now, I want to talk about this box a little bit first. So, this box says Miss Sort Packaging. This package has cleared US Customs and Border Protection. This was actually overnighted from Montana to me here in Kansas and somehow ended up in uh, Taiwan. Yeah, I don't know how that happened either, but these days it seems like uh, shipping's having a little bit of trouble with everything going on uh, in the world. So, the box looks a little bit beat up for the travel that it had. I guess we'll see what stuff looks like inside. By the way, I'll start off by saying the beating up of the box is definitely not the fault of uh, Harley or the Dynajet folks. This was good old fashioned throwing the package. Hi, Bee Bug. What are you doing here with your old motorcycle? Well, I'm making a video. Could you just let me finish up? This won't be long. Okay. Thanks. All right. So, this is a pretty simple kit. Easy to put on. First thing, Harley Davidson instructions. I put a lot of genuine Harley Davidson accessories on my motorcycles, and I find they always do have good instructions with them. So, include good pictures and diagrams, so that's always nice. Big thing is, is fittings, and one of the things that the guys at DinoJet were telling me is that these Harley uh, kits have, have really good fittings on them. You can see one, one of them right there, that definitely looks high quality along with some of the oil hoses. The big thing here is like oil filter adapter. That's how most oil cooler kits work. You just have an adapter that goes, that sandwiches kind of between the oil filter and uh, the engine. And so before or, or after the oil goes through the filter, it gets rerouted off to a cooler. It's got the Got the Harley uh, Shield logo cover, so the oil cooler is going to go down here, kind of behind the front tire, uh, beneath the cylinder, so it gets to take advantage of its own stream of air, separate from the, the rest of the engine. And here's the, the heat exchanger. This is a nice, nicely painted, high quality heat exchanger. I don't see any of the fins damaged at all. Oh, nope, there's one. But that's it, that's actually pretty unusual. Most of the time, it seems like when you buy a radiator or any kind of other heat exchanger that there's some, there's, there's actually a good number of the fins that are damaged, so, so that's pretty good. I'm happy about that. And then let's see. So the last part in here is uh, is the mounting bracket. So this is a nice this is a nice complete simple kit. Something that if you're having oil cooler or oil temperature issues on your motorcycle, maybe you're upgrading, maybe you just live in a hot climate. Um, this looks like it would not be won't take long to put on at all. Um, I'm certainly not going to bother putting it on right now since I'm about to start to work on the on the engine. So I'll put it on. It. As, uh, as part of the work that I do, um, but this is a nice this is a nice kit. One of the things that I think I'd mentioned in another video is that since we're going to be putting a 110 inch big bore kit onto this and and not quite doubling the horsepower from what it was making from the factory, um, I think that uh, 
putting in an oil cooler is something that's really critical unless you live in a cold climate. And SNS agrees. SNS, who's, who makes the big bore kit that we're putting on, says that if you live in a warm climate, that an oil cooler is highly recommended. Here in Kansas, um, it's mid June, and what ends up happening here is sometime late May, beginning of June, you get a high one day of about 90 degrees, and after that, you pretty much don't have a high under 90 degrees for the rest of the summer. So when it's when it's warm here, it's warm, um, and you want to make sure that you're taking good care of your engine. So. These are the sorts of little details, putting on an oil cooler, and in my intro video I talked about also putting on some new tires and putting in you know, good oil and filter and looking at spark plugs and wires. These are all kinds of the little details that when, especially if you're going to be diving in and doing a big project like this, you want to make sure that you're not skimping out and forgetting some of those other things because the, 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 the motorcycle needs all of those support parts to be able to actually make the horsepower that it can make and to put all that to the ground. So this is a really nice complete package that we've gotten from DinoJet and of course the last and most important part of all of it is going to be the dyno tune after we put all the parts on. So without the tune, the parts don't do any good at all. So I'd like to thank DinoJet for putting together such a complete package uh, for this upgrade. Really they thought of everything, they've got everything in here I'm going to need, they've taken all the guesswork out of it and then with their tools to help get the dyno tune uh, exactly dialing the engine in where it needs to be, I have no doubt that this is going to be a wonderful sounding performing motorcycle that I'm going to really enjoy. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to check out the DinoJet YouTube page and also the DinoJet blog where we've got complimentary videos on, these, on the various portions of this build project. I'd like to thank DinoJet again for sponsoring this. This is a really exciting build, and now that I've opened up all the boxes of the things that are going to be going on this motorcycle, I'm even more convinced that this is going to be a really fantastic build, and that when it's all done, this bike is going to be everything I wanted it to be from the day that I got it. So this is, this is all really exciting, and I can't wait to get to work putting these things on. So thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good day.